why is there no paste custom rom for the xiaomi poco f1 if you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos hey peeps what's up manchi here back with another video and this is a different kind of video it's not your regular how to do stuff with your poco f1 this is a video in which I want to share or tell you what I feel about questions in the comments which ask me which is the best custom ROM for the Xiaomi Poco F1. Bottom line, there is no best custom ROM for the Xiaomi Poco F1 or for that matter any Android phone out there. Why do I say this? Well, that is what we're going to discuss in this video. I will give you a few reasons about it so without any further delay let's get to the points point number one the fact that you have so many custom ROMs which exist is in itself proof that there is no one specific best custom ROM if there was one specific best custom ROM then there's no point in other ROMs existing they would have ceased to exist but you always have new ROMs coming up you always have new developers which in itself goes on to prove that there is no one best custom ROM for any device out there or for that matter the Xiaomi Poco F1 if you go to XTA developers go to the development section for Xiaomi Poco F1 you will see ROMs like Lineage OS, Resurrection Remix, Pixel Experience, Bicol OS, Nitrogen OS all of these ROMs have thousands of views and thousands of replies which means people are using these roms right if there was one best custom rom why would people be using all these different roms which brings me to my second point the fact that you have multiple people using multiple roms is proof enough that best is subjective or relative what is best to me might not be best to you for example, I personally prefer a ROM which has the option of hiding the notch because I don't like the notch. Now, if you have a ROM which does not have the option of hiding the notch, that ROM is not best for me specifically. I personally won't use that ROM. But you as an end user might not have a problem with the notch. Maybe you're fine with the notch, you don't need the option to hide the notch. So that specific ROM can be the best ROM for you. So this is just a very small example wherein one ROM is best for you and one ROM is best for me. Or as I want to say, there is no one best custom ROM. Now another question which I get is which is the best custom ROM for battery backup or which ROM has best battery backup or why do I not mention screen on time in my rom feature videos do note i make rom feature videos i do not make best rom videos or rom reviews for starters i personally think that it is disrespectful to the developers to compare their roms they're doing this for free they're doing this in your free time all the custom roms you're getting are free who am i to review their work or who am i to compare to roms there are people who do it and trust me if I do it I know I'm going to get mad views gain subscribers but there are certain rules which I have set for myself and I will follow those rules I will never do I will never do ROM reviews or compare to ROMs now coming back to the point of a ROM with best screen on time well let me give you a small example I use my pixel 2 regularly one day I noticed that the screen on time or my battery backup in fact had gone down from one and a half day to one day I thought it was a one-off thing right so I kept on going and during that whole week my battery backup was one day which was surprising I thought the battery had degraded because I've been using the pixel 2 for quite some time but then all of a sudden 
on a Saturday or Sunday, I decided to go into the Play Store, check the applications which I have installed recently, and lo and behold, I had installed Google News. So I thought, let me go ahead and install this application because maybe it fixes it. And guess what? It fixed it. My battery backup went back to one and a half days. My screen on time increased because my battery backup went to one and a half days. Now, again, coming back to the same point, there is no best ROM for best screen on time as well. Why? Because it all depends on what all applications you have installed. Another thing on which your battery backup depends is what all services you have running in the background. I personally turn off location, turn off Bluetooth. As soon as I step out of my house, I turn off Wi-Fi. This results in extended or more battery standby for me. You might not be doing all these things, in which case your battery backup or screen on time will be less than mine. And what if I suggest you that this ROM has best SOT and you don't get it? You'll come back to me and say, hey Manji, you told a lie or the ROM you recommended for screen on time, best screen on time is not worth it. Whereas in fact, we have different settings, different scenarios, different applications, different usage patterns. Everybody is unique. Everyone's usage pattern is unique. Maybe you unlock your phone 200 times a day and I do it only 100 times a day eventually that is resulting in battery being used so your screen on time and my screen on time will differ and if screen on time was such a big feature how many ROMs have you seen mentioned in their original post screen on time as a feature or for that matter the screen on time in hours nobody mentions it every developer knows that this is something which is relative or dependent on the user who's using their ROM. So again, there's no best ROM and there is no best ROM for screen on time as well. Another thing which I would like to talk about is people going in other ROMs thread and mentioning that they're getting this much screen on time on this specific ROM or this is the best ROM and going in another ROM thread and mentioning the same. Do note, the developers are not competing with each other. I'm not sure whether you know how to build Android from source or not, but luckily for me, I do. And behind the scenes, all the people or all the developers are good friends. They help each other out and they're not competing against each other at all. A recent experiment by AOSIP ROM, wherein they were being bugged by users who said that a ROM or kernel from a specific developer had awesome screen on time and it had miraculously low temperatures while gaming well guess what they did they created a rom which was same as what they had been pushing out and just entered or mentioned in the change log that they have modified the thermals and what happened next anybody can guess it all the users were happy excited reporting awesome pubg playtime awesome screen on time temperatures being cooler in the end, when they told the community that they had changed nothing and it was only mentioned in the change log with no code changes at all, everybody was shocked and surprised. And eventually AOSIP decided to end support for this specific device, in this case the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. So what I'm getting to here is that if you keep on asking in different threads what is the best rom for poco f1 what is the best rom for this device what is the best rom for that device you will get different answers from every user i will link an xda thread in the description of this video go ahead click on that guy read it and you will have different answers from different users in fact if i remember correctly there weren't more than two people mentioning the same rom as best so Best is relative, subjective, depends on user to user. What is best for me might not be best for you. And as a YouTuber or as someone who makes videos, I don't want you to run a ROM which I say is best. I want you as an end user to decide what is best for you depending on what features you want, what are your requirements. And this is why I make ROM feature videos. I do not make 
best ROM for POCO F1, best ROM for Motorola Moto X4, best ROM for Google Pixel 2. Like I said before, I know if I make such kind of videos, I will get awesome views on that video and I will also gain a lot of subscribers. But again, I have a set of rules. I have my self integrity and I respect the developers who put in hours of work in building custom ROMs, adding features, all of it for free. So I rather not disrespect them by creating videos which compare one ROM to another and which say this is the best ROM for the Xiaomi Poco F1. Other YouTubers do it, let them do it. I will not do it. That's it for this video peeps. I hope my video helped you and you know this video might piss off some people. I might get dislikes on this video but I don't care. See you when I see you.